Place Value with Miss Devonia Brown. Base 10 blocks, commonly known as place value blocks. These are a set of four different types of blocks that when used together can help you to see what a number looks like and understand its value. Let's take a look at our base 10 blocks. This block represents 1000. This block represents 100. This block represents 10. And this block represents 1. Let's take a look at the model on the screen. This model is representing a number. Look at the black X. Do you know what this block represents? If you said 1,000, you are correct. How many thousand block do you see? There is only one, so therefore we have 1,000. Take a look at this yellow X. Can you tell what those blocks represent? If you said it represents hundreds, you are correct. Can you identify how many hundred blocks are there? If you said four, you are correct. There are four hundreds. Let's continue to take a look at our base 10 blocks. Look at this green X. Which of the base 10 blocks these represents? If you said it represents the tens, you are correct. How many groups of tens do you see? Yes, there are three groups of tens. Can you tell the value of three groups of tens? You are correct. The value of three groups of tens are 30. Take a look at this red X. Which base 10 blocks are they representing? If you said the ones, you are correct. How many ones do you see? There are nine ones. Good job. Place value to millions. This place value table shows the places from ones to millions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Ones, tens, hundreds are in the units or hundreds period. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands are in the thousands period. Millions, ten millions, hundred millions are in the millions period. Let's take a look at this number. Can you read this number? Here is how to read this number. We read numbers from left to right. To read this number, read the millions first. 154 million. Read the thousands next. 217,000. Then read the rest of the number, 432. So this number is 154,217,432. There are different ways to show a number. Standard form, expanded notation, word form, and short word form. Standard form. When writing a number in standard form, you will write the numbers only. Take a look at the chart on your right. Notice the number displayed on the chart. It is already written in standard form.
So standard form is written like this. 5,278,194. Expanded notation. The expanded notation is writing a number to show the value of each digit. Take a look at the number at the bottom of the chart. It is written like this in expanded notation. 5 million plus 200,000 plus 70,000 plus 8,000 plus 100 plus 90 plus 4. Word form. When writing a number in word form, we write the words only. Let's take a look at the number at the bottom of the chart. To write this in word form, it is written like this. 5,278,194 Short word form. We write the digits in numbers and the period in words. Let's take a look at the number at the bottom of the chart. To write this number in short word form, it is written like this. 5,278,194 Notice, the digits in the units period or the hundreds period, I did not write the word units behind it or hundreds behind it. You just write the digits only. Remember, you read the numbers from left to right in groups. When you write the numbers, you leave a space between each group of three digits.